Hi, this is Rochelle, and I am going to be showing you if you make a mistake when you're doing your uh, transcriptions and uh, subtitles, this is what you do. Okay? So here we go. You go to your avatar. You make sure that you are in your YouTube Studio Beta. And then you go to your transcriptions. Now I'm going to check to see if I have any drafts. Now these are all my videos. These are the drafts. So these are videos that have not been published but I have started doing the captions on them. Give it a second to come in. Okay, this is your community. This is if you want to ask your community to help you out with doing translating. And these are the published videos. Okay, now I started doing this one and I'm going to see, yes, okay, so I did it with the English, the video language, and I did it with the automatic and then I also did it with the English United Kingdom. Okay, let's go into this one first. This is not automatic because this is not my default one. So what you're going to see when you click your add. This is what you're going to see right here. Upload a file transcribe and auto sync now if you wanted to do that you can do that and all you have to do is click into this one where it says transcribe and auto sync you're going to see a box come up I'm just waiting for YouTube here. In this box, you type everything that you hear in the video. And as you're typing, the video will stop when you're typing and it will start going again when you're not typing. So say I'm to click that and as an example here we go hi this is Rochelle and see how it stops and now today this we're going to be talking about tailwind to be able by to the end of this video you will your not only know how to become well, a member or just how to join a You can just put your own words. How to create a tribe in there. How to use your Pinterest and your Instagram for organic traffic. Okay, so that is and one connect way. it to your YouTube channel. Okay, so now 
exiting. So, stick around. Out of here. And let's get started. Now you're going to see there's two here, the one that I was just working on, the English and the automatic. Okay, so what I want to do is I would like to be able to use this one because it's uh, so much easier. And as you can see, what's happening is YouTube has put my information up here and I'm just going to click edit and now I want to change say I want to change something in the box I can then click into the box as soon as all the information is in. I did click edit. Just click edit again to make sure. Okay, so when you see these deep blue boxes, that's when you know that um, you're going to be able to edit and you can also save your changes. Okay, this is where you would then type in your, um, say you had a, a, site, a subtitle and mine is the uh, Instagram. I G T V. So I'm just going to add that. So that's going in there. And then here is my um, my speaking. Say I wanted to add some more information. I could do that as well. So when you press this key right there, you can then add another subtitle. So I could just put by the end of this. And I've just added that and then going down and if I wanted to add any further information in there as well now this is uh, actually still a private uh, little video so I'm just going to save the changes and I'm not sure if I actually can publish it because it is private Now, in order not to get confused, you are going to have to go into these that are uh, sitting here. And I actually went into the wrong one, sorry. Hi 
Hi, this is Rochelle. I don't want to go into the edit and I don't want to unpublish. So I actually just want to return to the YouTube Studio Beta. And this is the one that I was working on here. Okay, so I actually have these both published, but I want to make sure that I'm not getting confused. So I'm going to have to delete the ones that I'm not using. clicked into the wrong one. Okay, I'm just going to refresh that. This is also just going to that's the dra a draft and I want to make sure that I take this out. And the only way to do that is to actually go into your actions and then delete your draft. Then that'll delete it and then that'll take it out. And now I just have to see which one of these again is the one that I'm keeping. And I believe it's this one here is the one that I am not keeping. Um, it's the one that was created before I did any editing. Now remember that YouTube automatically will create this information and anytime you edit it, it would be always a good idea to uh, get rid of the actual um, one that was created. Uh, so I'm going to click the unpublish because I don't want this one published because I've already published the one that I have with my um, my actual edits in here and I'm going to click delete this draft so that will then delete the automatic one that YouTube automatically does which will then leave the one that you did your edits in this way it will not be confusing and you'll know which one you want to use. Okay, so you have to make sure that you click this red button here, delete the draft. Okay, so then that will just leave me with the one that I published the one that has my edits in it. Since this video is not public and I don't really want to make it public because um, it, it needs a little bit more work, this is the way that you would be able to use your um, your subtitles and uh, 
and your, uh, your closed captions. So I hope this has been helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And have yourself a wonderful day.